going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be talking about some more Oaklands and in this video we have some more sneak peeks. Starting off we have Kinder, so introducing the fourth building, Fairview Station. Fairview Station is a brand new selling deport for ores and wood. This deport includes a drive through style design which allows you to drive a truck directly into the station and all contents will be sold for in-game money which is a really really cool idea drive through it's just really fast really easy really cool idea there is also a control panel directly next to each station allowing you to swap from vehicle drive in mode to conveyor and whenever you are ready press the sell button Everything shown is heavily incomplete, so without further ado, let's get into the images. So, the first image is this one. We got Fairview Station, and we have buttons, we have a truck there. It looks pretty cool, looks pretty epic. It's a bit lackluster in colour, but maybe we'll see some colour in the near future. Or, maybe that is by design. We never know. Having a look around, we have the hills. The hills are just made out of stone, looking pretty cool. We got lights and stuff. The road is pretty smooth, very smooth road, and the hills kind of cross over into that road corner over there. The next image is the same place, but a different angle, a bit closer up, so you get to see a little bit more. Uh, nothing else has been seen in the background, nothing new, nothing secret. We've got a window, nothing inside of it. We've got a plant, from the looks of it, on the inside of the shop over there. Other than that, having a look at the buttons, we'll have a up-close look at the buttons in a near second. But the next image is of behind the store as well. So, okay, so now we're looking at from behind, and... This this is a bit weird. I don't understand how this makes a lot of sense. Wait, hmm, wait a second. There is doors over there, so it looks like maybe there's a wall in between it, just separating it off. I'm not too sure, but yeah, this is a, uh, I think there is two doors on both sides. Other than that, if that's not right, then they changed it a little in this image, and I've just finding it hard to notice but in the background we do have the Bananaco van lorry thing and also in the background if we have a little look all the way over there we have more views of the scenery no trees yet but we'll have the trees naturally growing in the future we've got signs though the signs are looking pretty cool we've got blue text we've got a little white you've got a little Grey signs, you've got blue signs, purple signs, looking pretty snazzy. The next image is actually of the sell button. So we've got the sell button, it gives you the price that it probably will come up to. And we have the conveyor on or off. We have a red button for off, a green button for on. So that is how the shop system is going to work. The next thing is from Ryan. So item unboxing. Finally obtain that item that you have been waiting to unbox. Question mark? I don't know why there's a question mark. Well, now you can. With the power of interaction, sound galore, thanks to our amazing developer, Ryan, assets shown are work in progress slash placeholder content. So what you see here may or may not be in the original game when it is released. Let's go have a look at the video. So it is a little bit long, but you have Ryan picking up these axes, putting them onto the shop counter, and you also have him unboxing it as well and then dragging the items around on the floor as well. If you've noticed carefully, you can hear a little bit of sound in the background too, which is pretty, pretty cool. Like walking sounds, unboxing sounds, and talking sounds. They are pretty awesome. The next thing is actually the handsaw item. So we have a new item confirmed coming into Oakland's, and this is the hand saw. The new handsaw item for cutting plank, as cutting them with an axe wouldn't make much sense, would it? Thank you to Ryan for our amazing modeling work. As a reminder, those assets are placeholders. Let's just say now, we're not gonna repeat it. Everything in this video may or may not come to the game. We do not know. I do not know at least. You might know, you might not know, you never know. <laughs> right, the video we have here is, um, I actually didn't save the video so I have to go over to Discord and get it. <laughs> the new handsaw thing, so we have audio sounds, oh no, our handsaw, something, I missed it, but put it on the counter, someone's talking, yes please, thank you, dot dot dot. There you go, put it on the floor, unbox it, give a little sound animation, and put it on the pink box. That pink box is going to be very, 
very popular. You just pick it up, drag it around, and you've got sounds and stuff. Thank you, Ryan, for working on that. The next thing is tree chopping, 50% done. Tree chopping is now 50% complete. Just some basic stuff needs to be done to it, and it will be working. In other news, sneak peeks may stop over the week due to school restarting development progress. No problem, Hoofa. You gotta do what you gotta do. Let's go on to the video, and in this video, we have Hoofa clicking at the trees, and they just fall, and yeah, basically, what he has is probably the best axe in the game, chopping it instantly, and it's just testing whether the animations are working, things are falling around accordingly, sticking together like they're supposed to. You've got palm trees there, and you have rainbow trees too. Maybe we'll see the rainbow trees come into the game in the near future. I have some other images to say that they might, but we have palm trees there as well. The next thing is actually of the rainbow thing that I was just on about. So, when you have no good quality sneak peek, but you're still working on said product that you don't want to share, an unfinished thing, so, so you take some video dancing on a chopped up sparkly rainbow tree with a child running around in front of you. We're not going to play the video because it is a 47 second video of Hoofa just dancing on top of these trees, but as you can see, you have these rainbow logs right here and they look pretty cool they look pretty epic so you i'm not too sure maybe they're just testing different logs maybe they're placeholders i'm not too sure maybe it is the rainbow tree that is coming to the game it might come to the game it might not come to the game we'll never know we'll have to wait until it is released the next thing is player hotbar some progress on the player hotbar is being worked on here is a preview of some stuff involving it so far Please note that it isn't complete yet, there is still a bit to do. And we have a video here, playing the video, Hoofa unboxes these items here. You've got a pickaxe, a saw, and an axe, and as you can see, the items pop up in the inventory accordingly as to when you pick up the items. So if you don't have any items in your inventory, nothing is going to show up in your hotbar, which is pretty cool. You've also got the shopping carts in the background and the property land store owner guy. The next thing is player hotbar. Some progress of the player hotbar is being worked on. Here is a preview of some of the stuff involving it so far. Please note that everything isn't quite complete yet, so there is still a bit to do. Now, there is a video attached to this. Looking at the video, he unboxes items, it goes into the hotbar, and as you can see, it is going into the hotbar accordingly when he picks up the items as well. And it is also in his hand, and looks pretty, pretty cool. And you can decide whether to keep them in your hand or not have them as well. The next thing is of Player Hotbar, the sequel. The hotbar is now a semi-finished state. It does what it should, it works great, and so on. All it really needs now is more of the tool side of things, such as tool animation. But this is not necessarily to do with the hotbar. The only issue right now is that you cannot drop the items on mobile, but what I may do for this is make it so you can double tap the item in your hotbar to make it drop. Another way you can look at this is if you look at Minecraft, this is just another solution to deal with the problem. If you look at Minecraft and how they make it so you can drop items in their hotbar, you hold down the item and after a certain amount of time, after like three seconds, there's like a green box, there's like a filling green box that fills up the hotbar on that selected slot, and once that green box is full, the item is dropped. And that is a really good idea to add into your game. It's just another way to look at it, it's a way that people already know, it's a way that people would recognize, and it's a way that can actually inform you on what you're doing once that green box is full what happens when that green box is full instead of just double tapping and not quite knowing what happens you can hold down the item and you can see the progress of it about to be dropped in real time which is pretty cool and we have a video as well and if we have a look at this video we are unboxing items it goes into our hot bar again and it goes into our hands again and pretty cool like that and when Hoofa moves around as well the items move around in his hand as well which is pretty pretty awesome Hoofa said he wasn't gonna upload a sneak peek once and he lied about that he then posted like an hour or two later I lied and then here's um 
an image that he posted. But I'm quite confused on what this image actually is, to be honest. We've got, let's start off at the bottom of the image. We've got crystals. You can see the green crystals, the red crystals, blue crystals, pink crystals, and purple crystals, unless they're blue crystals. But what is above them crystals? You've got two brighter lines. I'm going to say they are the testing ores, maybe, or maybe the like textured ones, the smaller textured ones above the plain ones are the ores and underneath it is something else. I'm not too sure what any of these are until we get closer up the image. And going on to these things, it looks like you have diamond and gold on the right and then you've got some other stuff like stone, smooth stone, and then copper maybe? I'm not too sure. I have no idea what these blocks are. Maybe it has been listed in the Trello. We will have to go and find out. But until the game has been released, we will not exactly know what these blocks are named. And then we have the stone variant. So above it, you've got like sandstone, you've got normal stone, dark stone, and you've got like some gravel type of stone too. And then you've got like the hickory wood. I believe that's hickory wood or mahogany. One of them ones is like purpley dark red type of color. And then you've got brown, which I'm going to say is dark oak. And then you've got oak. And then you've got, I'm going to say... I don't know. Let's just go with light oak. It, it's definitely wrong. It's not the right answer. And then we also have birch by the looks of it. And palm trees as well, I presume, is on the very right. And we have the according leaves type 2, which helped me decipher on what these trees could be. I say could because I don't have a clue that's not written on the image. So we're just trying to figure it out. But now we are going to find out how the game is going to be released. Now, let's get straight into this. From Luckfire, they say, it is clear that we have made some more progress on the game development. So I would like to provide information on how the game will be pushed out to the public. With that being said, here's some information on our multi-phase plan for Oaklands. Phase one, QA testing. Everything in this phase is still being worked on and tested internally. <coughs> what that means is they are being they are getting testers from the inside, like Ryan to test things, or maybe they have like five testers that they've chosen from the community to come in to test things from the inside and maybe sign an NDA to not tell anybody what, about it, maybe, maybe that. But what it means is we, the public, are not going to find out what is being tested on until either the developers stay themselves or the game is in phase two or phase three and we'll go on to phase two and phase three in a couple seconds but going on this phase will not be considered done until we have most if not all cards in the QA release content list and only then will we move to phase two you can find that in our Trello. So don't worry, we will go into the Trello in the next video because this video is getting a little bit long, but phase two, public in-dev testing. This game will be in a free public state where everyone can play, test stuff out and report any bugs that they find and give feedback about the gameplay that they may have. Data will be reset once we transition into phase three. So remember like Woodmill Inc, the data reset. If you guys still are watching since then, then it is going to be the same thing over there. But if you're new, but if you're new, then that means once we get into phase two, whatever you're doing in phase two, it will be wiped once we get into phase three. So make sure you are not doing anything too substantial. Make sure you're just testing things out. Maybe like buy everything in the game. Make that your goal. Buy everything in the game in, in alpha and uh, see how things go in phase three. Because in phase three, a lot more things should be added. But there will be minimal bugs as well because phase one and two are to get rid of them bugs. So remember like in Woodmill Inc when you would play and your cards wouldn't even move or you'd just be glitched back into your previous spot. Yeah, that's what this is for to fix these bugs like that to make sure that it doesn't happen in full release. But phase three alpha release after everything is tested and all bugs are squashed the game can finally be released to the public there will be no data wipes from this point on and content will be planned and worked up for the future there will be more than likely to be bugs during this phase but there will be less than the previous two so like i just said there'll be more bugs in the previous two versions than phase three and then after phase three the game will be like fully released and it is pretty pretty cool no phase three is where the game is fully released i believe so 
after that point, there will be no data wipes, and then that's where you can do all your substantial things like building castles and stuff like that. But if you can think you can do it fast, then do it fast inside of the testing stages. Why not? Show off your abilities and what you can do. But Luckfire says to add on, the game is currently in phase one. We'll provide more information on when we're close to phase two, but for now, there's not much for us to give information wise besides sneak peeks and other gameplay information. That's completely fine. They need to take as much time as they can to work on this game. But yeah, going over to the Twitter, we have tree chopping. Chop down your tree with your good old rusty wooden axe. The majority of this system is complete, meaning up next will be the diverse stuff such as rock mining. We are excited for what is to come in the future. Thank you for everyone for your support. No problem, Hoofer. We're always here. Or, I mean, typical developers. <laughs> the next thing actually is attached to this message and it is actually of tree chopping. We have three images. It's not three images. It's a, like almost a minute long video of Hoofer chopping down a tree with this wooden rusty axe and it's very long. But yeah, you can see it starts to chop up. The faded line it gets darker and darker until the tree has chopped down. But as you can see, zooming in on this tree, it looks like crystals and stuff. So this rainbow tree is actually like a rainbow crystal tree. And it looks pretty, pretty cool. It looks epic in my opinion. But the next couple things, we are almost at the end of this video. So stay with me here. The next thing is I have finally added support for, for mobile on dragging. Well, almost. However, I want to know if people agree with the choices I've made. For hover interactions, I've made it so you have to pinch the object. For picking up the interactions, I've made it so you have to tap it to start dragging and tap it to stop dragging. Rotating items is yet to be determined. Good choice or bad choice? Well, I like I said earlier, with the dropping items, I think if you look at Minecraft and the way they've done it, I think that is a very good idea for you guys to take similar actions on because that is just like it's it's really good maybe we'll see that sort of stuff implemented into this game or or not maybe we'll find their own system but it's gonna be pretty cool either way but i'm not really a mobile player so i can't really give feedback into what mobile players do because i don't really play mobile so I've played Minecraft Pocket Edition and that's the only previous experiences that I can offer right now. But the last thing is actually from Hoofa and Hoofa is saying, hey everyone, going to be doing some more Oakland's development, hoping to get some tree chopping and all generations done this evening. He said that last night. We shall see how things go. So that is going to be it for this area. But here's a little self promotion for Hoofa. You guys, there is a lot of you here, and probably a lot of you watching. So make sure you go into the description and you go onto Twitch and you follow Hoofa's Twitch if you guys are interested in finding out what is going to be developed into this game. I'm not always going to be in the live streams, but if he's live and I'm there as well, then yay. But we live in two different countries, have two different lives, so. I may not always be there, but if you guys are interested in the live streams, go and watch the live streams. I'm sure there'll be some sort of scheduled somewhere, or he will announce it in the Discord somewhere. So make sure you'll be in the Discord too. Both of the links will be in description. But that's going to be it for this video. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, from me the channel where I go through the information on Oakland's and what is going to be released a part two will be released shortly not quite shortly because these videos do take absolutely ages where have I been re recently Tyler well I have been well I've, I've been nowhere I've been in my my flat sulking because I have no phone but I have a phone it's back and without a phone I can't do videos like this fun fact I make my videos I process them all I prepare them all on my phone I send it all to my PC ready to be edited in. I'm talking as I'm scrolling through my photos of my screenshots of that I'm taken and stuff like that and my videos that I've saved but overall that is pretty cool. I've got a brand new phone now. It's better than I had before. One camera but it's red. I'm happy with that. I, I, don't, I don't know what this button does but <laughs> we're not gonna find out. <laughs> don't press the button. <laughs> 
Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, free me to turn the make sure to turn your notification bells on. That way, you get stuck to date whenever I upload a video on the channel. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye!